Cool, right, here we go. Welcome to a Bumper Friday, Valentine's Day Fender Custom Shop unboxing special. So we've just had a shipment of guitars come in. There's a few uh, custom order pieces on there. Plus we've got uh, some guitars that we ordered at an AM show as well. So got a few extras that we didn't realize we were getting that are, uh, were nice little surprises that we actually got them as part of the, uh, the NAM lottery thing that they do. So we're gonna start getting some of those out. I've got uh, Aiden helping me today. T-bones off. Sneaky little devils booked Valentine's Day off. Let's just leave that there, eh? Right, so what we got over here? Okay, what does this say? Right, so this is a 60s telly thin line, limited edition for 2020. Let's open her up. There we go, look at that. So in an aged natural finish, so a 60s style telly. Very nice, tortoise shell pick guard. Super duper light, you can see it's got some nice figuring on the back of the neck there. Let's plunk that in there and see what some of the specs are. Okay, so let's have a little look, what the pickups are, etc. So this one has got hand wound uh, loaded no caster pickups. Uh, and it has got 60 style oval C neck profile, 9.5 radius and 6105 frets. So yeah, very cool, very nice. Right, get these, try and get these up on the website as quick as we can. We're gonna get Adam working double time, getting his picks all done. So yeah. I'll move yeah, on yeah. to this next one. So <clears throat> next one here. This is a 61 strap heavy relic faded three tone sunburst. I think this one's a Dow Wilson master built guitar. So it's gonna be absolutely epic. Here we go. There we go, look at that. Absolute weapon. No one does it like Dow. I mean, I know not everyone loves the, re the relic finishes, but if you're into relicking, then there is no better in my opinion. Dow just really, really goes to the next level in terms of the uh, the detailing and the uh, and the overall vibe that he manages to achieve with the guitars. So I'll just pop that back in there. So I believe this one was an actual NAM show presentation guitar. Yeah, it was. So these NAM show guitars, They'll come with a special little certificate to say they were on display at NAM. Sold to Peach Guitars, beautiful. So this has got a two piece select all, all the body sorted for light, lightest weight possible. So I'd say that's probably, that's gonna be just under eight pounds, I guess. Uh, we've got 7.25 to 9.5 compound radius, uh, 6105 frets, hand wound 50 strap pickups, just all, all the good stuff, basically. So I'll give that one to you, Aiden. Let's get the uh, Tremolo. Tremolo. There you go, lovely. Another winner. Oh, I think we've maybe peaked a bit too soon with that one. I hope we've got some, uh, some other rippers in here to compete with that one. I'll just leave that there. So we'll get Adam taking pictures of that and getting them out on display fairly soon. Right, so. Let's just leave that there. Right, next up, I think we might do a base. It is. Again, it's another NAM showpiece guitar. Uh, so this is a 70s P bass relic in aged ice blue metallic. So might need you, Lukey Long Arms, to help me with this one. You can help me with this, you tall, you tall thing. They are long arms. Okay, you can go now. Uh, right, here we go. Hello. Look at that. These are the times when you actually wish you were a bass player. Whoa, look at that. So this is by Vincent Van Trite. Is that the correct? Yeah, that is the correct uh, way to uh, pronounce it. So 
he's um, we well, we spoke to Vincent at Nam. I think he he understudied with uh, John Cruz, if I've got that got that right. So you can see he's obviously um, really focused on the the heavy relicking stuff, a lot of the extra details and bits and pieces that go into it that really make these guitars look super super authentic. Again, really really lovely lightweight uh, body on that one. Let's see what else we've got going on. Again, this one should have the special NAM certificate, I think. Yeah, it does. So, yeah. So this was on display at NAM. Relic lacquer finish, uh, two-piece select ash body. What else have we got on there? 9.5 radius, radius uh, 6150 frets, Josefina hand-wound 62p base pickup. So yeah, again, all the all the good stuff there. So I look forward to hearing what that beast sounds like. I'm sure that's going to be a killer. I love it when they do those, um, like Dale Wilson does it on a lot of the late Placid Blues where you can see it's almost like really greened out and it has, um, uh, you can still see the original kind of colour underneath, but it looks like they've just had years and years of being played in cigarette filled, tobacco stained clubs and stuff, which is cool. So next up. So this was, this was another Nam show guitar that was actually on display. It's a team built Telecaster. So this is a HS Tele, and I can't remember what the colour is called. A oh, aged ocean turquoise over free tone sunburst. So let's give this one a roll. Yeah, sweet. Look at that. That is super, super nice with the uh, tortoiseshell pit guard on there. Color over color finish. Nice relic in on the back there. Again, really, really nice and lightweight. Quite a nice chunky neck on that one. Let's see what we've got going on with the specs here. So again, another NAM show special. Obviously it's got the humbucker in the neck. Uh, the neck pickup is uh, a Seth Lover Seymour Duncan pickup and a hand wound Texas Special Bridge pickup. Uh, it's got 59 large C neck shape, 9.5 radius and 6105 frets. So uh, double bound as well, so tele-custom. Very cool. There you go, mate. Get that down there, that'll do the trick. All right, so gonna do this one quickly. This is just a stock order, one that we'd, we, uh, we're getting on a regular basis. Just a straight up 51 no caster NOS. Just kind of sort of take these ones for granted really sometimes because it's uh, you know it's a guitar you've seen so many times but that's because it's what we do day in day out but you kind of never tire of seeing that classic butterscotch finish no caster blonde or whatever you want to call it with a black pit guard nice large no caster profile neck shape uh, this will have uh, I should imagine 6105 frets again and uh, 9.5 radius let's just double check that yeah, it does, uh, and it's got hand-wound Texas Special neck pickup and a hand-wound no-caster bridge pickup as well, so pretty nice. Cool. So we tick the NOS box for this, for this run. So 72 Tele Thin Line. Uh, I think that's a uh, journeyman finished in AWBL, which I think is aged white blonde. So let's see what we got happening here. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, that's lovely. Look how sweet that is. That just looks so nice. So nice to see something a bit different as well because even when we normally get these in, they're kind of sunburst or black. So it's nice to have that. Oh yeah, look at that neck as well. That is lovely. Wide range humbuckers. Uh, let's see what we've got going on with the rest of the specs. Digging that one, Aiden? Lovely. Very nice. Okay, so 60 style oval C neck profile, 9.5 radius, and the frets are 6105s again as well. So I know there was a, um, 
a really good video that's just gone up with uh, Mike Lewis from the Fender Custom Shop talking about these uh, wide range pickups. They're the, they managed to get the original magnets and, and everything um, from the original you know, 70s pickups and stuff, which is worth a watch as well. Cool. So 64 Strat Journeyman Relic uh, in faded three-tone sunburst. Let's see how we get on with this one. That's just for that one, mate. Pop that there. There we go. So it's a 2020 spec guitar. There as well. Nice. Again, just a real classic look. It's got the lighter kind of parchment colour pick guard on there as well, which um, which you generally started to see towards like 64, 65 on some of the original guitars. Transition logo. Yeah, just a good straight up strat. Let's uh, check out some of the, sp the specs there, Aiden. So let's see what we got in here. So yeah, uh, 64 Strat Journeyman has got a hand wound 64 Strat pickups, 63 Strat C profile neck shape, 9.5 radius, and 6105 frets. So, I might give you the trim arm. Let me pop that in. Here you go, mate. So, what we got next? Another 64, this time in aged Aztec gold. So let's see how we get on with this one. So specs are the same, so I'll just give you a quick blast of the color and the relic in on there. Lovely. Yeah. You can see the, uh, see the grain coming through there. That's really, really thin. Lack of finish on that. Really nice aged cracking. This is a journeyman relic finish. So same specs as the last one. 64 hand wounds, etc., etc. Really great looking guitar. Very nice. Good lightweight as well. Lovely. Give it the uh, trim line on. Boom, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -boom. Cool. Right. So this one is a 57 Tele Journeyman Relic uh, in aged candy apple red, I think this is. Nice 50s style candy apple red finish. Lovely maple neck. You see a little bit of that, you kind of feel like you see a little bit of that gold undercoat popping its head through there. Let's see what we've got with the uh, specs. Oh, so it's another NAM show display guitar as well. So this one was actually on display at NAM and we, we was obviously successful in getting it. So that's a two-piece select ash body, uh, tinted rift sawn maple neck with 57 V back profile, very nice. 9.5 radius, uh, narrow tall frets, whatever. Uh, 55 to 56 tele pickups, but I think um, we know how this guitar is gonna sound. It's gonna have plenty of twang and meat to it at the same time. So, but we'll get some videos all done early next week, I guess, with these ones now. Right, 61 Tele, aged Olympic white. So I think this is gonna be another Nam guitar as well. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, that, that one looks like master-built level relic in. Really, really cool. 
got all the wear in all the right places. Really, really light. Nice maple neck as well. Let's have a look at some of the specs. Hold that for us, Aiden. So where are we at? Yeah. So this one has a uh, two-piece select order body, uh, tinted quarter saw maple neck uh, with an oval C-neck profile, hand-wound Texas special pickups. Um, yeah, I mean, that kind of sums it up. You've got the, the 60s style bridge there as well with the, with the uh, steel saddles. Um, so yeah, I think it's a mint, you know, mint green guard and everything. So yeah, just a good straight up telly as well. All right, so we've got one left. Dell Wilson Master Built, which is a reorder from a, a, a guitar that we saw at NAMM a few years ago. So I think this one took around three, probably about three and a half years to, to come in, maybe longer. So this one's a 50s style strap. I think it's a 58. What did I say? Yeah, 58 strap. So it's aged sonic blue over three tone sunburst. But I know he does these, when I've seen them in the past, he does the, the sonic blue really, really super faded finish. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, that is a real beater. Yeah. I mean, you, you know it's going to be a, a great guitar, but that's just a work of art. I know. I know. Like I say, you know, every time, not everyone's into the relicking and stuff like that. But this guy doesn't just get the guitars and just drag them around the car park and uh, you know i'm not saying that the other master builders do but the extra kind of level of detail that he goes into to really make him look old and give him that vibe is is really really kind of next level you can't i don't know if you can see that well on the camera and stuff but you know you can like the wear again is is in the right places you know there's more wear here than where your hand would be resting you know you got the the wear around the knobs there on the anodized guard from where you do the pickup, um, you know, we do your volume changes and the, and the pickup movement and stuff. So that's just, just, and even on the back as well, he's, you know, not just put the back plate on and left it. It's got the extra wear there from, from belt buckle, etc. Yeah, it's just lovely. So let's have a look at the specs. Okay, so this has a uh, hand wound Fat 50s pickups, uh, 9.5 radius, triple uh, A grade flame maple neck. Uh, it has uh, the frets are 6105s, ash body. Uh, yeah, just a really, really great relic job like always with Dale's guitars. So, give you the trim arm. So there, we're all done. We're all done. There was supposed to be uh, one more master built guitar, but UPS have lost it, apparently. Well, it should, it should turn up on Monday. But it was supposed to be yesterday, I think. But, you know, it's what it is. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. I uh, hope you all have a splendid Valentine's Day. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Cheers. Bye-bye. <coughs>